try anything when it comes to your child. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. And I'm Anthony Austin. We have a question for you tonight. Would you sacrifice your marriage just to pay for medical bills? A story out of Texas last week revealed that this couple is actually considering divorce because they can't pay health costs for their six-year-old daughter with a rare disorder. There's the couple right there on your screen. And Julia Janae is on your side tonight with more on this headline that really has gone viral. And Julia, a lot of people in Florida are actually facing similar challenges. Heather, that's what I've been hearing from Northeast Florida families and from advocates in this area who say they saw that story and realized that it's very similar to people that they know. I talked to the managing attorney for a medical partnership here in Northeast Florida and asked her exactly if breaking up for benefits is legal and what can change here in Florida to make that change. Jake and Maria Gray vowed to take each other for richer or poor in sickness and in health. Feet wet. Kitty. Now they're considering breaking that vow for the health of their six-year-old. She is a pure and beautiful soul. And we're lucky to have her. Their oldest daughter, Brighton, has a rare genetic disorder that requires expensive medical care. The couple spoke to our sister station, WFAA, in Sanger, Texas. We've done everything that we can do to try to keep her afloat, and we're going to reach a point where we can't do it. Jake makes $40,000 a year, too high to qualify for Medicaid, but too little to pay for the $15,000 a year they say they've been paying in out-of-pocket costs despite having private health insurance. If they divorce, Maria would qualify as an unemployed single mom. It's a, it's a conversation that I've had at least half a dozen times in the past year. Jacksonville attorney Katie DeBreer counsels parents of children with medically complex needs and says the Gray's situation is sad but not uncommon. The reason they were willing to take such a drastic measure is because they had no access to private duty nursing uh, and moms and dads are literally staying up 24 hours around the clock to ensure that their children are safe. DeBreer says Texas and Florida don't opt in to Medicaid's Katie Beckett option that would qualify parents of children with certain special needs and has no income limitations. So instead, um, you know, I get calls from families who are in a desperate situation and um, I'm limited in what I can do to assist them. Though a divorcing couple who's no longer living a married life is legal, DeBreer says Medicaid officials will be checking. So if they stayed living in the same place, it would not work. But for couples across the country, like the Grays, there's no easy way to choose between a healthy marriage and a healthy life for your child. Now, DeBrier tells me that Medicaid isn't the only option for parents in this situation. There is Kid Care, the Children's Health Insurance Program, and other options that may have a long waiting list, but she does say to reach out to those advocates who may be able to assist you. She did tell me that the Katie Beckett option is in Georgia, though it's not in Florida. She said even in some situations where she has clients or people consulting her who live near the border, she advises them to move to Georgia where they'll have better options for their family. For now, reporting live downtown, Julia Janae, First Coast News, on your side.